by popular demand, I'm back. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get another Mewtwo inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So as you guys all know, Mewtwo is a legendary Pokemon inside of the Let's Go games. And an only way to actually catch Mewtwo is to encounter him in the Cerulean City Cave post game after the Elite Four. There's no other way to actually get Mewtwo outside of that one static encounter. Now, the legendary birds, you can find them randomly flying above in the wild, but again, that's after you caught them in their static locations, and again, that is random. Mewtwo, however, doesn't have that 1% chance of actually appearing like that, and again, is one of those, I think the only Pokemon in the Let's Go games that there's only one chance to catch, and that would be inside the Cerulean City Cave. So, the fact that we got an event for another Mewtwo is pretty cool. What kind of sucks about the event is that you actually have to travel to Best Buy, open up the Pokemon Pass app, scan a QR code, and then get the code that's in the Pokemon Pass app and then enter that into your Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee games, and then you receive your gift, and then you got your Mewtwo. However, there is ways to get the app into thinking that you at a Best Buy when you really aren't. Now, I done a video on the Sogaleo Lunala event that happened at GameStop a couple of weeks ago and a lot of people were asking me, how do you do it on iOS? Is there another way to do it? And I'm gonna tell you, yes, there is another way. Unfortunately, it's not on iOS. I don't own an iOS device and when researching on how to do it on iOS, everybody was saying that you had to like jailbreak your phone and stuff like that. And that, you know, red tape or, you know, red flags to me that I wouldn't want to get an iOS iOS device just to jailbreak it. You know, it's so easy to do on Android side. And again, if you want to do learn how to do it on the Android side, I already have a video on that. I'm gonna have a card up on top. Go to that video. I explain in detail how to do it on the Android side. This video is going to explain how to do it on PC. So again, if you have an iOS device, but you do have a laptop at home or a computer at home, you are able to actually GPS spoof the laptop into thinking that it's at GameStop and download the Pokemon on pass app and everything you are able to do that on pc let's jump into it so what you're gonna need first is a laptop obviously boom once you got a laptop that you are able to just download stuff freely if you're not please ask your parents if you're young or whatever please do this with someone that knows what they're doing just in case you end up not doing the right thing go over to bluestacks bluestacks is an application a free application you can download for your laptop which it basically is an emulator for android it basically puts an android smartphone inside of your laptop so you can go to bluestacks the app and basically open it up log into google play like normal download pokemon pass app and then spoof the pokemon pass app download a gps spoof on your laptop and then find the location of a best buy select that location as your destination on the inside of the emulator of the app and then boom the event opens up unlocks and then you go you can redeem your code this is my first time using Bluestacks. I'm not sure if it's the best Android emulator out there, but I was recommended by a couple of people to use Bluestacks. It's, it's well known in the emulating community. It's very trustworthy, so you can download it. And it, 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 it runs on basically a potato of a laptop. Uh, I don't have the world's most powerful machine in front of me, and I'm, I got it up and running, so it should work fine for most PCs. And again, you're not using it to play like PUBG or Call of Duty Mobile. You're using it just to open open up a GPS booth and the Pokemon Pass app. So again, those are two apps that aren't too demanding. Again, once you open up Bluestacks, you go to Google Play, you download Pokemon Pass app, you download any GPS spoofer. I use fake GPS spoof, but apparently <laughs> that's not the best GPS spoofer. So I was trying out a couple. And again, I ended up just using fake GPS spoof because that's the one I'm most comfortable with and it worked fine in Bluestacks, just like it worked fine on my Android device that I use. Once I got the location of a Best Buy, and again, if you need a location of a Best Buy, just do a quick Google search of Best Buy and locations in New York or any big major city and you can find a ton of them. Put that location into the GPS booth app. Once you've done that, set it. Make sure that you hit play or put the location live inside of the Bluestacks. Then open up Pokemon Pass app. They're gonna ask you to log in just like they ask you to log in on your phone. You need a Pokemon Trainer Club account. I think that's what the login is. Once you log in, 
Pokemon Pass app will use the location from the GPS booth because it's all in the same emulator. It's not gonna use the location that's in the laptop. Once you get that location, it's gonna ask you to scan the QR code. You go to it, you click start event. It's gonna ask you to scan the QR code. You can just go to the bottom left corner of the screen. It's gonna be a question mark. You click that and then it's gonna say, skip this step. That is exactly what you wanna do. Skip the step of scanning the QR code. But for whatever reason you want to scan the QR code, I'm gonna have the image of the QR code on screen right here. Once you skip the step of the QR code, you should be able to see that you got the GIF. Once you get the GIF, it's gonna say redeem code. You click on that and it's gonna show you your code. Now this code on screen, go ahead. if. Whoever's first watching this video and entered that code, you can use it. Let me know in the comment section below. I actually redeemed the code by somebody in New York gifting it to me very early. So I was able to shoot and record this before the event went live. And hopefully this video gets edited before the event or, you know, during the day of the event on November 4th. So you guys can get out there and get the event because it's from November 4th to the 14th. So from my understanding, you need to scan and the QR code or get the code rather before the 14th. After the 14th, the event inside the Pokemon Pass app will stop working. However, I am curious to see if I can get it to work outside of that date. So be on the lookout for a future video where I could see if I can maybe hack the Pokemon Pass app into thinking that it's still the event time and I'm at a game or GameStop or a Best Buy and see if I can get an event to work after the, the event has finished. But besides that, once you get your code, you go over to your Nintendo Switch, go on Pokemon, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. You hit the Y button or the X button to pull up the menu. You go to your communications, you click on mystery gift, you put in use password, enter the code. Once you enter the code, you're gonna get the gift on screen right here. I should have footage playing, which is pretty funny because I, I thought I was recording the whole segment. I think I got like half of it of just like Mewtwo being downloaded, but just to prove that I have yet to capture Mewtwo in my game. This is actually the first time me capturing Mewtwo into the Pokedex. I'm gonna show you guys footage of me in front of Mewtwo. Again, that's because I am currently shiny hunting the Mewtwo that's in the game because I want a perfect shiny dex inside of Let's Go. I'm currently far, far away from that, but it should be easier now that I have um, the shiny charm inside of the Let's Go game. So that's gonna be it. If you have any questions, any questions, let me know in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. Let's talk about this. Let's try to figure out how to help anybody and everybody who wants to get their hands on this Best Buy Mewtwo before the event. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Again, if you are an Android user and you want to know how to do this on your Android phone, I didn't want to make the same video, meaning I made a video already on the shiny Lunala and the shiny Sokaleo event, and I didn't want to do the same thing where I just logged on my Android phone and used Pokemon Pass app, used the GPS proof. It was redundant, so I wanted a way to kind of show you a new method inside of the PC, and that's what we did here. So again, if you want to see how to do that on an Android phone, I'm going to have the vid, it's going to be the first link in the description ios maybe next time around i could i get my hands on iphone i gel break it i figure out how to do that give me more time i could probably get it working but not this time around again a lot of you guys already have a laptop already have access to a computer and you can use blue stacks in a way to get this Mewtwo event to trigger without actually going to a Best Buy. For whatever reason, if you're not in the US or you're not in a city that has Best Buy, because I know there's cities probably out there that doesn't have a Best Buy, or you do have a Best Buy and it's like three hours away and you can't justify driving three hours for a Mewtwo, but you do want the event. This is a way to help you. Again, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. I was going to say every day because that everyday grind has come to a halt due to the fact that I'm moving into a new studio. Plus, it's my daughter's birthday this month. Plus, the Sword and Shield games is coming out and it's like... All of it is falling under spam of a couple of weeks, and I literally don't have that much time to sit down and do these videos, unfortunately. But once Sword and Shield comes out, that should not be the case. I'm going to be banging out videos daily on Sword and Shield, guides on everything to do in the game. So again, if you want 
that type of content, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned and moving the video over to recommend it so it can help more people and more people can check it out. Peace. Again, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.